Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Richard Cheng. Dr. Tom Levy and I had the pleasure of interviewing Dr. Ken Walker, who will be turning 102 years of age in February 2025, to learn his secrets to longevity. Dr. Walker, a renowned Canadian physician, columnist, and a prolific medical writer, survived a heart attack some 28 years ago. Rather than taking statins as his cardiologists recommended, he took high doses of vitamin C, about 10,000 milligrams per day, along with other micronutrients. Today, at 102, he remains vigorous and continues to lead a productive life. Actually, can I like you to you know talk a little bit more on this? Because recently, just yesterday, I had one of uh, my uh, clients uh, or or fans. I've been training them for also molecular medicine, and she spent. She said that she spent two years to convince a family member, a patient of uh, ASCVD heart heart disease, and uh, to go on you know our also molecular method. However, she went to a local hospital in China. And then she changed her mind immediately because the doctor to recommended a statins and uh, off the low carb diet. So she was, I mean, this friend of mine was pretty upset. So actually, you are a great example. You had a sound like a close to or, you know, a massive heart attack type of scenario about 27 years ago. And uh, you, you didn't go on statin. And uh, my research shows that statin has a lot of side effects. You know, I'm against statin. You know, statin, if you take statin, you know 25% of the chance of getting type 2 diabetes. Mm, yeah. And I got very friendly with one of the astronauts uh, at one point, And he was put on cholesterol-lowering drugs. And one night, after being on them for a few months, he went home one evening. He didn't recognize his wife or his children. Hmm. They found he had a brain tumor. They did hmm. every test in the book, and, and nothing was found. They took him off the statins, and a couple of weeks later, he, he again recognized his children. So he wrote several books about the, the hazards of, of, of the, these drugs, pains in your legs, and so, and so forth. So that I, I was aware of, the, of, of those facts, and you know, I, took a, I took a real gamble when I started uh, uh, taking uh, high-dose vitamins, and it wasn't until I realized I was doing the right thing when I read about Dr. Sidney Bush in Hull, Hull England, who, who, was, who was an optometrist, optometrist and uh, would be giving uh, prescri prescribing contact lens to his patients, who occasionally... They wouldn't do the right thing, cleaning them, and they'd get an eye infection. So he decided to give him, give his patients for a year, 6,000 milligrams of vitamin C and mm. 5 milligrams a, a day of lysine. And he took a photomicrograph of, of the back part of the retina, where you can only see veins and arteries. And a year later, he took a picture again. And he had had no infectious eye diseases, but he made a revolutionary discovery. And he really, really should get the Nobel Prize for it. Hmm. He found out that atherosclerosis on high doses of vitamin C was decreasing atherosclerosis. That, that should have made every, the headlines of every newspaper in the world, and it didn't. And you said uh, this, this doctor who found that uh, just on high dose vitamin C alone, this patient's atherosclerosis is uh, reduced or reversed? Reduced and reverses. But yeah. I, matter of fact, I, when I read about this, I didn't believe it. I think that's totally wrong. I took one of my sons to Hull, England, interviewed him for three days, looked at before and after pictures, and uh, he, he, he convinced me that atherosclerosis was going away. Unfortunately, Sidney Bush died a couple of years ago, and there's no one that, that is carrying on that research, and it should be carried on. 
and uh, it would it would be revolutionary if if that would happen. And of course, <laughs> of course, the cardiac surgeons they, they were not happy. Who wants to take away uh, the, the thousands of dollars they they make doing coronary bypass operations? So he, he yeah. didn't get any benefit from any of his colleagues. Well, well, at least our health gets better. 